Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps Updates Roundup number 56 and in this episode I'm going to show you 10 new changes in Google Apps so let's find out what's new. Let's start with Google Photos and the only change I'm going to show you today is the new styles you can get when you create a collage. So for example I'm going to choose those three photos, tap the plus sign and then choose collage. As you see here, we have different styles now to choose from and instead of only getting the automated ones. So here I have four different styles, as you see here, and the maximum number of photos you can choose is six photos. But let me show you that when you make the number bigger, you will get even more different styles. So as you see, this one looks very nice and this one, this one, and those are all the styles you can get now in Google Photos. Next, YouTube Music. And it finally got Material U support. So if you take a look here at all the buttons, you will see these new rounded rectangles at the top. And you will also see rounded or pill-shaped design uh, secondary buttons like more. And when you go inside any of the playlists, you will see this new pill-shaped buttons as well. And Material U is everywhere now in the app and it looks gorgeous in my opinion. You will also notice that the top carousel is sticking to the top of the page after scrolling. I'm not sure if this is something new, but I think this is the first time I see it. And that makes it easier to, to switch between different modes without the need to go back to the top of the page. Change number three is the new filters you will see in the Up Next queue. So for example, when you play a song, we all know that YouTube Music automatically creates a list based on the one you are currently playing. But now we have filters at the top to modify this list if we don't like the songs in it. So for example, we have here at the top familiar, discover, popular, deep cuts, and some other choices here as well. The only downside is when you change the filter and then get back to the previous one, that songs will change. So if you are just exploring, you need to keep in mind that the songs will change after you return back to the original filter. And now it's time for today's sponsor. If you are interested to purchase original Windows 10 and Office keys, head over to cdkeyoffer.com using the links in the description below, then apply my special promo code ID20 to get extra 25% discount. Windows 10 OEM key will cost you $16.23, which is very affordable. To complete your purchase, choose your preferred payment method, input the details, and once the payment is done, you will be redirected to the orders screen. To view your code, click on the view keys slash codes button, then click on get the key. To activate your Windows 10 OEM key, copy the code from the website, head over to your Windows settings, then system, scroll all the way down and click on about, then product key and the activation, and finally click on a change. Paste the code in the text field and click on next, then activate, and now your original Windows key got activated. For more offers, please check the links in the description below. And now let's get back to the review. Next, Google Contacts. And the only change is the new filters at the top. So for example, if you want to only see the phone contacts, you can tap on the filter at the top and tap on it again if you want to remove it. You also have the email contacts filter. You can choose multiple filters at the same time if you want and so on. The last filter we have here is called the company. So if you record the company information in your contacts and then tap on this filter, it will show you all the list of companies so you can choose the company you want. So that's pretty much it in Google contacts. Next, the Google Home app. And now the group tiles will show you how many devices are currently active. So for example, I have six lights under the living room lights and when I tap on it to turn them on, you will see that I have six lights. It says here six on and you will see the same thing under the home devices. If you have a Pixel phone, as you see here, it says the number of devices are currently on and when I turn off any of them, the number will change. Now it says five, four and so on. Next, Google Lens. And it only got one change. Now when you tap on any of the photos, you will see a new search shortcut to search for this image online. When you tap on it, Google search will try to show you similar photos and this shortcut also available in Google Photos when you start Google Lens like this. Next, Google Drive on iOS now supports the lock screen widgets. So if you have the Google Drive app installed on your iPhone and then tap on customize, then try to add a widget, you will see Google Drive is now 
part of the iOS 16 lock screen widget. You will get three here. One is called suggested files, search, and start. Now let me show you some changes related only to the Pixel phones and the first one is in the battery widget. If you take a look here, you will see the phone icon now matches the device model if you are using a Pixel 6 or later. So let me take a screenshot here and then try to zoom in. This is my Pixel 6 Pro and when I zoom all the way in, you will see here it has the same camera bar. And when I tried the same thing on the Pixel 6a, I found a different icon that represents the Pixel 6a and so on. The second change in the battery widget is the new information you will see when you make it bigger. As you see here, it shows the remaining time for your battery, not only the percentage. Last but not least, the phone app on Pixel phones running Android 13 now supports the predictive back gesture. So as you see here, when I do the back gesture, the phone app will minimize and show me the background to let me know that the app will quit instead of going back one step so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i wanted to show you in google apps please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new ones so i will include in my future videos but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video